is anybody wondering, I mean, does anybody have anything right now that they, they'd like to go over, like something that they're trying to figure out? I do know that um, uh, for command, we do now have review capture as live on, um, you can create a standalone page. It doesn't work with your agent sites, um, but you can create a review capture page that um, allows you to capture a client's review and I don't know how to display those yet. I feel like that's the only thing I still have not been able to figure out is uh, how to get it to be displayed. Because right now I went through and I, um, I put in all my Yelp reviews. I just copied and pasted them because it doesn't ask you to register or anything like that from, from this. You can just put type in first name, last name. I just put in the, the, ad, um, the city and state and then what year they left the review. And then of course I matched their same review from Yelp. I did not change that. And then I just copied and pasted their review and added the testimonial. Um, and then I went in to add a, I went on my site, I wanted to create a page where it displayed and it had like a carousel option to do that. Right here it says testimonial carousel. So I dragged testimony of carousel on there and it's like, okay, it looks like it's got a bunch of stuff in there. So it's like, great. Testimonials and it asks which one you wanna do. And it's all the same. I, I entered probably 15 or 16 of them and I, they're all the exact same. Every single one of them are, it only added actually one. So I don't know exactly uh, I don't know if I have to reload the web page every single time I add um, a review. So if I did one right now, let's just say uh, my name is Brian Collins. And uh, my address is in Victorville. And I've been a client since 2015. I'm going to give myself a five star review and was great. Um, so I can preview the testimonial and then I can hit submit. Now, um, I should be, I mean, so create a new, oops, create a new page on my site. Hello, Galaxy J7. If you could change your name so I know who you are, that'd be great. Um, put the testimonial carousel back in there, configure the widgets. Uh, and browse the testimonials and see if that new one showed up anywhere and it didn't. So it seems like the very, cause that was the very first one that I put in. So um, I've put in a whole bunch and um, I've submitted this as a problem to Keller Williams, but we'll see exactly. Oops. Hopefully they will get that figured out. Um, but you can, the, you can build a, a capture website so that hopefully once the, the glitch is fixed, um, you can start capturing your client's testimonials. Uh, where was that agent? There we go. And I close the tab. So John said one thing to make sure is if anyone hasn't set up their website. Yeah. Well, we already have lots of videos on how to set up your website. If you haven't set up your website, you go to the consumer tab right down here at the bottom. And then you click on site and app settings or down here at the bottom, configure your site. That will take you to um, using your KW site and then building out your three basic pages, which is going to be your about me, about us, and a contact page. And you can create, you know, what your page is going to look like. Um, I like to use the landing pages for the most part. Single, single, um, the single property websites, the, the landing pages just for one property is awesome it's the best um if anybody has anything else i was really hoping to get a lot more people on here especially with so much craziness going on you know um people are trying to use zoom for everything and i know that people struggle with using zoom anyways um so i was trying to walk through being able to you know get that done um Um, I sent out a, a campaign, I sent out, I created a smart plan um, and it had a link to a video that I made on YouTube and I sent that out to um, 
pretty much all of my past clients and all of my, uh, I had tagged all of my people. That's what we talked about last week was um, tagging and creating tags. Um, so I tagged all of my buyers, all the sellers, potential buyers and potential sellers, all the leads that I've had, um, everything. And I ended up getting two listings and a buyer from all of that. So I feel like, you know, use the smart plans to your advantage. You can create uh, automated emails and text messages. Even if you just want to send one email and one text message to everybody in your database to say, Hey, um, you know, thinking of you and hopefully you are great. I sent the follow up text message a couple of days later that said, Hey, I sent you an email. I was just curious if you had it. Here is my, you know, I, this is the email that I, address that I have for you. Maybe I have it wrong. And I updated probably about 15 contacts out of the 300 that I sent. Um, I updated about 15 contacts. They're like, oh, that's not my email address anymore. You got the wrong one. And then I was able to start a dialogue with them and create that, um, that value. And, you know, kind of talk about what's going on, kind of commiserate a little bit. Man, being, you know, stuck at home almost all day long is, you know, crazy now. So um, there's lots of different things that you can do with this system. And um, manage to be able to manage your database. There is some limitations as far as the number of emails that command will send on your behalf. It's 5,000 per month. Um, it does seem like they are going to give um, paid options for people who need more than 5,000 emails per month, but for the average agent, you know, 5,000 emails per month is going to be, you know, pretty good unless you have really email intensive um, smart plans that are, you know, that you, if you have 500 people in your database and you have them all on an email or, a, you know, something that sends 12 emails, it well, this, that'd be 12 emails a year. If you had them on like a one email a week, you know, type thing or one email every couple of days, I feel like you could probably run into your, run to your limit. But um, if you're only marketing to, you know, a handful, maybe up to two or 300 people, I feel like 5,000 emails a month is going to get you pretty decent um, responses. Um, we can talk about referrals. Let's do that. Um, there is, there are ways to send referrals and then there's ways to, um, you know, receive referrals. Um, if you have a referral to send, you can do that two way. You can just create a new referral and then um, you can select the agent, which you can put you know, you can just search their name. Um, let's just say, I'm gonna send one to Miss Teresa. Uh, oh, I don't have you in my network already. <clears throat> so a lot of people won't put their aid, their agents that they work with a lot in their network. Um, I think that's definitely a mistake. So I'm going to add you're probably going to get a referral network, a referral request from almost from everybody. But anyways, so you can go to Grow My Network. Say you can't find the agent you want to send. Um, you're going to go to Grow My Network. And you can double click and zoom in to the area that you want. So we'll go here. And then I'm going to put in T-H-E-R-E-S-A. There she is, Teresa Schellenbarger. So um, then I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to send, hey, I, you know, want you as a backup or something. I don't know. Uh, referral partner. So I'm going to send an invitation to um, Teresa there. And let's just say that I wanted to actually send her an actual referral, um, you can click on this little button right here. And this is going to open up a box and say, okay, so what am I going to send? Am I going to send her a buyer, a seller, a tenant, or a landlord? So let's just say it's a seller and we're feeling generous today. So we're going to make it a 30% referral. Um, and then the acceptance deadline, I always I just put 96 hours. And then um, <clears throat> this is for, I, I don't really know what min max price i guess this would be more for buyers than for sellers um but notes um here's a seller for you thanks okay and so 
this right here is what they're going to see when they receive the referral. Um, the stuff in yellow here, you can select them from your database or you can create a new contact and that's new. So that's great. Before you had to already have the person in your contact in your database before you started this whole process. So this is great that you can create a new one. Um, so I'm going to send over Johnny Tester to, um, uh, to her and then look, it fills out first name, last name. Um, hey, Teresa. Hi. <laughs> Sorry for using you as an example. So what happens is um, the when you get the referral request on this end, I wonder if I can send. I wonder if I can send it to myself. I don't think I, I can't because I'm not in my own network. So, um, <clears throat> so what they'll do is they're going to see, hey, they have a seller for you, blah, blah, blah. Until they accept it, um, they won't see any of this until it's accepted. So you're not sending them information like, you know, previous or, you know, to, uh, without them accepting it. And they're like, oh, well, now I don't have to accept it because I already see all the information. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I mean, I don't know who would be that. I don't know who would be that. Um, uh, you know, dishonest, but you know, whatever. So you can send this here and then the, the, the other person will just get a request and they'll say, Hey, you have 96 hours to accept it. You definitely want to anybody who you send a referral to, you want to definitely give them a, a text message, unless you know that they're really active on command. You want to text them and say, Hey, I sent you a, um, I sent you a referral on command. They, they should have gotten a Kelly notification, but if they didn't, or if they missed their Kelly notification or they just don't pay attention to them, then that would be something different. But um, you want to definitely send them a message saying, hey, I did this. And you can get all of their information. So let's just say I sent that to Teresa, right? Um, if you click on Teresa's name, you can get her email, her phone number and everything right there. So you don't have to go and try and figure out anything else you don't have to try and figure out what their contact information is. Um, and then that's how we do all of our internal Keller Williams um, referrals. Uh, you don't need to have a, um, you don't need to have um, a, a, the California, the car form or, you know, whatever else form. Like this is 100% the, the way to do internal referrals. Um, outside referrals, you still need to use the car, the, the, you know, the, the typical referral form. Um, I think it's car form. So, um, when you get a referral, let me see. So when you get a referral, they'll look like this. Um, I sent this one out and then I received a couple of them. So this one actually can fell through. It's also going to notify the other agent that the referral has been lost. You can search by all the different people. Here's so look at Brandon Ray comes up here. I can add him if I wanted to. Um, Robert Mendoza. These are all the different agents who are Keller Williams agents who work in you know this area. So there's Sarah. So I'll send her an invitation. Uh, and Ruben. Monica. Yeah. So, um, and you want to grow your referral network because the more you add people, especially in areas, I always go to the areas that, um, I have family. So my out of area people, I go into Phoenix, you know, and, um, I have people on my downline in Phoenix and I have family all over in Phoenix. So I add these people to my referral network. So that way, when my family and my friends out in Phoenix are ready to sell, I already have them um, referred. Obviously my downline is going to be my first stop for that. Um, but I have a lot of family in Texas and Dallas. So I have um, quite a few referrals partners out here in Dallas. Um, and the more you have, the more chances that so when somebody's coming to California, they're going to pick you. Um, the first place that I go is to my network when I'm looking for an area. I had a friend who was trying to get a, um, a home in um, Colorado. So in my referral network, I have this person. 
is a team leader uh, in, well, is this in Colorado? Yeah, Colorado Springs. So um, actually I could send him a referral right now. So I gotta work on that and make sure that I can get her referred out to uh, you know, a good agent. If anybody has any questions, if you wanna set up time, uh, not doing in office meetings at the moment. We're just going to do Zoom calls just like this. So, all right. Well, if nobody has anything, then I guess we'll go ahead and call it. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. And hopefully, um, if you have any questions, you know, email me, text me. We'll figure it out together. Thanks, everybody. Bye.